Please welcome to the stage former National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Atlantic Council's Brent Scowcroft Center, General James L. Jones. Well, good evening, everybody. I really wish I could tell you that my limping up here on stage is the result of an old war ruin that surfaced instead of tripping over a hole on the beach in Grand Cayman Islands, but <laughs> we are where we are. Please do not tell the Marine Corps. Please do not tell the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have the high honor and the great pleasure of introducing the award uh, the awardee of the Atlantic Council's 2015 Distinguished Artistic Leadership Award for his accomplishment as a leader, as a songwriter, as an entertainer, as a businessman, as a philanthropist, and as a patriot, Toby Keith. Bursting in Nashville, out in Nashville in 1993 with his first number one hit, I Should Have Been a Cowboy, Toby has produced more than 31 chart-topping hits, which have won him the Academy of Country Music Entertainer of the Year Award in 2002 and 2003. Toby Keith was well on his way uh, when we met in 2002, when he participated in a free concert uh, for our troops at Constitution Hall. He has regularly volunteered his time uh, through the USO to the cause of entertaining and visiting with our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere around the world, appearing in over 200 shows for military audience, lifting the morale of over 250,000 men and women in uniform, as well as that of their families in over 15 countries and on four ships at sea. Regularly in the combat zones, Toby Keith would finish a great concert in the safer areas where large troop concentrations could gather, and very quietly, with maybe one other member of his entourage, would board a military helicopter and fly out to a forward operating base to spend the night in the field with troops who could not get to the safer areas for the concert. His patriotic songs re reflect his deep appreciation for our men and women in uniform, past and present, courtesy of the red, white, and blue, American soldier, which he will perform tonight, and my personal favorite, Call a Marine. <laughs> Toby's father served in the Army, and his story of service is recounted in Toby's songs as a tribute to America's greatest generation and those who follow in their footsteps. His connection with the troops of today is legendary because they know without any doubt that his love for them is complete and genuine. But there's much more to Toby than his music. His family and friends know him to be a thoughtful and dedicated and loving father and friend and husband to a fault perhaps the best example of, his, of this quality where his family is concerned is the fact that on the night when he was to be inducted into the Oklahoma Hall of, Hall of Fame in 2007, with thousands of who's who in uh, Oklahoma in attendance, Toby Keith was off coaching his son's football team. Um, and he had planned it so that he could do both, coach the team in the game and go and receive his, his induction into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, the football game went into multiple overtimes. <laughs> the presentation of all the other inductees was progressing quite rapidly. The organizer of the event and I were looking at each other. The reason I was there was I had been asked to introduce him to the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, and I was wondering how I was going to get up there and sing one of his songs <laughs> if he didn't show up. At the very last minute, Toby arrived with a proud smile on his face, and the only thing he said was, we won. <laughs> so what's the plan here? That's with 30 seconds to go before his award. Toby Keith has his priorities right. Before announcing his award tonight, just to make sure, I checked that the football schedule in Oklahoma <laughs> was over, uh, just to be safe. So he's here tonight to receive an award which celebrates Toby Keith, the leader, Toby Keith, the artist, 
and Toby Keith, the man whose music and values are an inspiration to all of us here tonight, an inspiration to our military community and to tens of thousands of fans around the globe. In just a few short weeks, he'll be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, which is another great honor. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to present the 2015 recipient of the Atlantic Council's Distinguished Artistic Leadership Award to Toby Keith. <laughs> General James Jones, people, right there. Man. Wow. Obviously, y'all didn't get the uh, late memo where this was country chic, not black tie, right? Yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. I've got a thousand stories on that guy. He has been a dear friend of mine for uh, many, many years, and I begged him a thousand times and, and talked to his beautiful wife, Diane, and all their sons. I wish he would run for president. He speaks like five languages. He knows everybody in the room. He knows everybody in the world. He would be a great leader for this country. And uh, I really love General James Jones. But he's always told me no. I, I guess it'd be a pay cut or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'm very humbled and uh, honored to be here tonight. Um, the, the great general um, asked me if I'd be interested in doing this, and, and I will do anything for him. So um, I get here tonight, and I learned a lot. The Atlantic Council, um, you give a great light at the end of the tunnel to a uh, country that a lot of people in the flyover states, like where I live in Oklahoma, as we feel like, and sometimes we're er eroding as a as a uh, nation, uh, it's people like in this room tonight that, that give me great hope, and uh, you should be commended, and I'm honored to be accepting this award for the Atlantic Council. Um, there's, a, there's a couple more organizations that, that need to be brought to the attention of the 200 and something shows we did in 11 years overseas. That could not have been possible without a wonderful, wonderful organization that gets very little recognition, the USO. The USO, if you're here tonight. Uh, they do so much for so many for so long, and they go unrecognized. And, um, and I'm very humbled to take an award for going and playing for our military because they're so important to me. Uh, I tell this story a lot, but it's worth telling again. My father came home from the war with one eye, and I was 17 or 18 years old before I realized that the gray eye and the blue eye were different. Uh, he never complained. He knew that he did his uh, country a great job, and he instilled it in his children to respect the uh, veterans and the people who go defend our countries and our freedom, all our liberties. And uh, if solicitors came to the door, you met the devil. If a, if a veterans organization came to the door, you come in and were invited in for dinner. And he flew his flag 365. It never flew at half mass because you couldn't lower it. It was just up on top of the pole. <laughs> and, and once in a while, somebody would stop and say, hey, you're in Oklahoma and the wind's 35 mile an hour and your flag's getting a little rusty there. It needs to come down. We need to get a new flag. And he would say, yes, sir. And he'd go out and we'd lower the pole and change the flag again. But uh, he always begged me um, from the time that, um, that I could go perform. He said, you should go perform for the troops. And I was so busy at the time taking care of my career and my family and my livelihood that I said, I'll get to that. And then he passed away in March of 2001, and 911 happened in the fall. And from that point forward for the next 11 years, um, we took off and uh, became USO. My 
Booking agent uh, Kurt Motley is here tonight, and um, he became a board member for the USO, and we, he started championing the campaign to get people to go over there and uh, to set the benchmark. We went in to the guts of the war, and through meeting all these military people uh, for 11 years, it, it changed our world. And uh, it, was, uh, it was the most wonderful history lesson, geography lesson, and uh, heart lesson that you'll, you'll ever uh, be a part of. And no awards in the world are more important than those awards where you've given back to somebody who's done something beautiful for you as, uh, as our military does for us every single day. And, uh, and um, I'm honored and I will go for the rest of my life as long as I can. Um, There's, uh, there's, there's five people that I want to thank that made, that get no recognition, that made every single one of those 200 plus shows. One of them we're going, he's going to perform with me in a minute, Scott Emmert. One of them is uh, my booking agent and a USO board member, Kurt Motley. Brian O'Connell and my assistant who's not here tonight, uh, Mitch Deny. They made every single show and they get no recognition. I wish you'd give a round of applause. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to go over my four minutes or whatever it is. I'm honored to welcome to the stage with me 12 remarkable individuals who embody the bravery and character that I so admire across the United States military. They represent all four military branches and the thousands of American men and women who are serving around the world. Please join me in thanking them for their service. This is Scotty Emmerich. And while I'm here, I don't know if any of you are present, I want to thank the Coast Guard also. They also do a great job. wrote this for my uh, father who was in the army, but in honor of all the branches being here tonight, we're going to sing it a little different. I'm just trying to be a father, be a daughter and a son, be a lover to their mother, everything to everyone, a band that I'm bright and early, my business in my suit. Be I'm dressed up for success My head down to my booth I don't do it for the money I got bills that I can't pay I don't do it for the glory I just do it anyway Providing for our future It's my responsibility And I'm a real good under pressure Being all that I can be I can't call in sick on Mondays when my weekend's been too strong. Hell, I work straight through my holidays and sometimes all night long. You can bet that I'll stand ready when the wolf growls at the door. Cause I'm solid and I'm steady. Man, I'm true down to my core. I will always do my duty no matter what the price. I've counted up the cost, I know the sacrifice. People, I don't want to die for you, but if dying's asking me, I'll bear that cross with honor. Hey, freedom don't come free, I'm an American soldier, an American. Beside my brothers and my sister, I will proudly take a stand. I will always do what's right Man, I'm out here on the front line Sleep in peace tonight
American soldier I'm an American soldier An American warrior, an American Side my brothers and my sisters I will proudly take a stand When liberty's in jeopardy I will always do what's right Man, I'm out here on your front line People sleep in peace tonight American An American, American warrior. The half the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and the Coast Guard. Me and my family salute you and thank you for our freedom. Godspeed.